Hello, good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today, I will show you uh, filter of uh, filter data from database table uh, in ESP dot net using SQL data source control. So, uh, various uh, operations performed by the SQL data operations, uh, SQL data source control. So, uh, if you want to learn about uh, the searching facilities like the filtering. Uh, when we search any names any numbers then display your data so uh, that we have a simple database table and in which we have a uh, some records you can say some tuples okay so uh, we have a student table with the student ID and the student name okay you can check it in which we can add or you can say in which uh, we will add some data set the uh, identity property of the student ID add another column that is student city city set identity specification false to the true I mean to say automatically incremented by one that uh, in the student ID and start from the one okay Now add some tuples in the students or you can say add some rows in the student table Jacob New York City am a New York City Los Angeles Bill Kenda. Okay, so uh, we have three rows in a table, and I want to search one by one by their name. Okay, uh, using the SQL data source control. Then how? Okay, uh, in the designing window, add a text box control for the name, enter name, so add a text box control, when we click on the button, then we display uh, then we can show the data on grid view such as student details and grid view control select choose data source database is SQL data source 1 database dot MDF connection string so uh, please uh, see clearly where cause select the student name equal to operator and the control in the source property and the control ID is we have two control on a page then I want to search from text box so put the text box here okay 
not finish it okay that's fine now save this and right click to view your browser uh, view your application in browser and check your output wait for a few seconds it will take uh, time to load yeah data is display when we enter the name like the bill jacob and me so bill so student detail yeah student id is 3 student name is bill student city rakhanda jacob for the detail that is fine so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net web forms so thank you thank you very much again